One more strike near your position. And Are we pissing or what? What's going on here? Enemy soldier. Zyro, one of the most insane players in Vondel, uses all three types of aim assist in each of these kills. And right now I'm going to explain how each of them works and how you can use it for yourself. Today I'm going to be talking about the three types of aim assist. Now, if you have watched this channel a lot in the past, you kind of already know what this is, but I'm going to put it in more blank terms so that it's understood by everybody and you know exactly how to implement this. You know, so many people say, oh, fifth seal, how do you get so many uh, kills? How is your aim so good? Or how do you control the M4 so well? I get those uh, DMs sometimes on Discord. I'm going to show you every single thing in this video on how to use all these three types of aim assist. Now, first, I'm going to break this down. Three types. So we got rotational, right? Rotational. Rotational. All right. This is with your left analog stick, right? Left analog stick. This is how you use rotational. When you move left, right, up, backward, whatever, um, you're activating a specific type of aim assist that's based off of you moving. All right, so that's rotational aim assist. This should always be useless, but if I was supposed to, but if I'm supposed to put like in any particular order what to use first, you're gonna use rotational aim assist first all the time. You're always using rotational aim assist and using it with the other aim assist. And this activates the most when you are using a lot of movements, so SMGs or anything like that. Still can use it on ARs, but if you're standing in uh, a same spot, so if you're using some, some type of head glitch or something, uh, most of the time, it's not really going to be used. All right, so that's just with the left stick rotational aim assist. All right, the next aim assist we have is going to be your hip fire aim assist. So this is connected with the standard aim assist. All right, and if you're going to use that, that's going to be the second thing you use. So use rotational first, then use the hip fire, and I'm going to explain explain a little bit later on too. So hip fire, um, this is obviously when not ADS, right? So always use this after rotational and you always want to use it to like catch your target. You don't want to use it to actually attack unless you are really close to the person. Um, so rotational is kind of activated. Um, like I said, when you move hip fire is activated when you're only in the hip fire part of that standard. Um, but usually you use it before the next aim assist so that you can be able to capture your target. And the best thing about this, like I said, like you're going to be able to look at targets super fast um, is you're going to be able to latch on to people. And then finally, we have the ADS aim assist. So this is amazing for when you are when you're already touching the target, you aim on the person and it sticks to the person. Um, but this is actually one of the worst types of aim assist. And now I'm going to explain why. So those three things right here, right? We got rotational, hip fire, ADS. All right. Remember those rotational, hip fire, ADS. Now we're in the firing range, right? And like I explained, you got those three types of um, ADS. The standard is the hip fire and then the ADS. And then the rotational is the left stick. So you want to do it in a very specific order so that you can get the most out of your kills and have the most accuracy as possible. Um, once I started implementing this, I did it in the old war zone and this war zone. It's extremely easy, even on any sensitivity, it's extremely easy for me to get really good aim on almost any weapon possible. All right, so rotational, right? I see the person, I'm already moving. All right, and you want to touch them with the white dot. All right, so like I'm, I'm moving over here, I'm looking to the left, touching them with the white dot. What this is going to do is, um, like I said with the hip fire um, aim assist, this is not as sticky as the other ADS, as, as the ADS aim assist. All right, and that's a good thing. The good thing is because you could swap targets super fast. Boom, boom. You see how like it's just jumping? Like it's just jumping. I'm flicking a little bit and, and it's jumping like crazy, right? And once you catch the target, then this aim assist, this is used to lock into the person and to just make sure that the gun stays on them. All right. So let's just say, you know, um, I don't, I don't touch him with the hip fire first. I just want to ADS and move in. That's going to give me a harder time to kill him, 
because this ADS is a lot slower and if it's a really good player and they're jumping across your screen, it's so much harder for you to shoot that player. All right, so remember the pattern. You got rotational, hip fire, ADS. Rotational, hip fire, ADS. This aim assist not as strong. Use it to latch on. Then use the other aim assist to stick to the target. And then that's how you shoot right there. All right, so now let's take that with this gun right here, right? Latchman 556. Five, all right, so now, oh, I want to shoot a far target. How am I going to be able to do all that from over here? Why can't I just aim in and then shoot him while I'm looking like this? No, this is not what you're supposed to do. And most players think this is what you're supposed to do, right? Oh, guy over there, aim in, shoot him right there. Um, Same exact pattern for every single enemy that you kill. All right, so look, over there, rotational, hip fire, ads so i'm popping up see that it, it looks so subtle that you can't even notice i'm doing all those steps but right there boom got him right there i'm not like oh i'm looking around okay ads look down no ready ready hip fire ads right there now i'm going to shoot right let me try it with the smg it's very far away and this is not good for far away all right so uh, rotational, hip fire, like that. And it got the recoil, but the gun's still not going all over the place. All right, and if I'm not really doing that and I just like aim and shoot, see the recoil's going like crazy. But if I take my time a little bit, right here, really simple it's really easy to do you can practice it in the firing range i will tell you guys that this matters a lot more on high sensitivity so a lot of people like to play higher sense right um if i go to my controller i'm currently on four i don't like to play high sensitivity i'm bumping up to let's just say 14 right if i'm on 14 oh it's, move it's moving super fast if i just touch him with the hip fire use rotational i can still aim decently good on 14 i'm on 14 sensitivity i play four sensitivity the entire time and i could just pop up Fourteen. Oh, let's bump it to 20 let's bump it to 20. all right let's bump it to 20. got my gun right here 20 sensitivity oh this, this is crazy 20 sensitivity i play four sensitivity and i'm still able to just go and aim all right and if i'm like not using it right if i'm on 20 sensitivity and i just want to do what i want i i can't aim let me let me meet this guy i can't aim but if i take my time and do all those steps nice and slow whoop that was better. Let me see if I can hit this guy, right? Rotational aim. Eh, decent control, but 20 sensitivity. Can't control that. All right, so whatever sense you play on, that's definitely going to make it a lot better. Um, if you start at a lower sensitivity and then start implementing these steps over and over, rotational, hip fire, ADS, and you get that pattern down, aim at like the chest area. All right, you want to lock onto the chest, and then as soon as you touch him with that white dot, you want to aim in, and then shoot straight from there. And that's also really going to help your recoil and help you um, hit a lot of your shots. This game is so much easier than a lot of people um, think it is, and that's just because they don't know the simple steps or patterns that they have to do over and over to actually make them a good player. All right, so if you remember those things and you implement them over and over, you're going to be able to activate those three different types of ADSs in sequences, and that's going to help you get a lot more kills in Warzone.